Everyone has it coming at some point. You feel like shit and camera is collecting dust somewhere you already forgot where. Whatever the reason, it definitely sucks. So when you can't come up with anything, the best way out is to check out someone who nails it to see how others do it and of course get inspired. Recently I've got a similar situation and uh, after emptying all my bottles I finally came to realization that I'd better get another photo book rather than pushing my local liquor store into the Forbes list. Yo, what up guys, it's Aperture Value yet again and this time it is all about printed goodness. It feels great to make photos, but you gotta input something as well. And I don't know about you, but for me it is quite difficult to find a good photo book or any material for that matter to be honest. I've talked minimalism on this channel before and many who watched some of my crap know my style and um, how I approach photography. And while architecture seems to be my object of choice, it is not completely true. It is just that in our times you don't get much of the traveling or exploring. For those watching from the future, it's been already two years since the whole world got f***ed up. In other words, I try my best to capture not only architecture. Surprisingly, there are not so many decent photo books representing this style, so I've decided to share some of the books I've collected so far. If you're also struggling to find something for yourself, get ready and open Amazon in another tab. Only one book today is not connected to minimalism in any way, but I think it is essential for all photographers to have it. It's The Art of Photography by Bruce Barnbaum. While it does have some technical information, especially in the field of uh, film processing, but it also explores the intricacies behind developing your own vision, style and uh, photography as art in general. And being a renowned photographer himself, author supports the book with his own beautiful example photos which are absolutely stunning. I've read it once and now I keep it as a photographer bible, coming back to it as needed. Another one is not a book, but a magazine. Serial is published twice a year and is described as a travel and style magazine. It covers some travel destinations and art, photography and architecture. The whole thing just breathes with inspiration and beautiful design, starting with color palettes and paper and ending with unique topics and the layout. While only some topics might be of interest to me, like a tribute to Hong Kong photographer Fan Ho, very minimalistic looking Korean Danse Kwa art movement or coverage of beautiful Atacama Desert and Patagonia, the whole magazine is illustrated with very nice looking photos. Even if you're not interested in all the material, it's great to look through the photographs. Right now Serial is on volume 20, if you want you can get the old issues in a bunk used or new from some of the online shops. Now this is a small photo book by Spanish freelance photographer Andres Gallardo Albahar. His works are all about lines and shadows, symmetry and color. His style really goes in line with mine, so it uh, was great to see all these photos taken in 20 different cities around the world. I'm sure you'll find it inspiring too. The photos are laid out in a specific sequence, but the glossary in the end groups them by city with some basic information and thumbnails, which is neat. And finally, the book I've purchased recently is called Accidentally Wes Anderson, put together by Wally Koval and featuring a foreword by the master himself. This book was originally intended to be a collection of travel itineraries, but ended up being a photo book showcasing works of various photographers from all over the world and having one thing in common that Wes Anderson color, symmetry and minimalism. If you don't know who Wes Anderson is, then pause right now and watch Grand Budapest and the uh, recent Isle of Dogs. The style itself is very appealing to me and I think if you're pursuing minimalism in your work, you'll find this book not only pleasing to look through, but also useful. Well, at least when flying to another country will be easier. You see, all the pictures are not just followed by information about the place itself, but also a coverage of historical background, which really makes it a photographer's encyclopedia. All the pictures are conveniently grouped according to location and at the beginning you have a world map with pins of all the shots presented. Simple and neat. It's a perfect one to make your next bucket list. So if you have a chance, get this book to check it out so you're ready before we can travel again. These are all the books I wanted to talk about and I wasn't kidding about Amazon at the beginning. I don't have any affiliate links or shit like that, so I don't give a f would you buy it or not, so you're sure these are actually my preferences and personal choices. Let me know if you have other books on your mind concerning minimalism, I would truly try to get them too. It seems like we'll have to enjoy the countries from the pages of the books for some time now, if you know what I mean.